obviously when you're wrapping their hands, it's quite an in, intimate moment. You're sat there before they're going to go to war with someone or, or have a fight with someone. And what is that moment like with the fighters? Because I can imagine you get quite a different range of mo emotions. Good point, man. Yeah, it's uh, uh, unbelievable. Yeah, I've had fighters cry. I've had fighters laugh and play and joke around. And, uh, you know, but those, those are the moments that are real important because as Frank Mir says, he says, when I see Stitch walking into the dressing room, my stomach just drops because I know it's time to fight. And I am that guy. I, once I walk in the dressing room, and like I tell them, these are like the gladiator days in the old days. I walk into the dungeon, I put all the armor on you, and I send you out to the arena to fight for death. Well, here I'm putting your hand wraps on. Uh, but I, uh, uh, I give these guys a lot of confidence. You know, like I say this, you know, I've had guys that have cried, but I understand. And, you know, this one guy, a big name in the UFC, started crying. And I just sat back and, and, and you know, let him finish, get his emotions out. And, and then that's when I start psychologically letting them know that don't worry about anything. I'm going to take care of you, you know. And, uh, you know, they end up giving me a hug and giving me a kiss and tell me they love me, you know. But, uh, yeah, there's, there's guys that uh, uh, sit around and just do nothing. And, and one of my great stories is, uh, Fedor Emelianco. You know, we all know who Fedor is, right? Yeah, the legend. So I used to go to Japan with Josh Barnett uh, to work his fight. He would pay me specifically to go with him. But everybody, a lot of guys would want me to wrap their hands. And Josh says, you know, I'm paying him to come work with me. If you want him to wrap your hands, 500 bucks. Man, I'd make two, 3,000 easy right in one night. And because uh, wrapping hands to me in 15 minutes, I'm in and out. So I get the the promoter comes in and, and asks me if I could wrap Fedor Emelianco's hands in pride in Japan. Of course, it's mega big, you know. Mm -hmm. And uh, I didn't even question, didn't ask about money or nothing, but I get in the dressing room and, you know, being that I've worked with the Klitschko's, I've worked with a lot of Eastern European fighters and I know they're quiet. <clears throat> Their personality is different than yours and different than mine. They're more stoic. Well, Fedor, I'm wrapping his hands and, and he had just come back from breaking his thumb. I think mm -hmm. that's why they to break his or wrap his hands because he was just first fight back from an injury and uh so i'm wrapping his hands and he ain't saying shit to me you know and open and close and open and close and finally i finished i said okay i said Pedro, how do they feel he goes super super bro that's all he said man <laughs> i walked out and i was on top of the world and you know i was ecstatic and and just to top it off that night is um uh, Josh and I are walking back to the bus down the hallway after the fights, and he had just won. I think he fought Mark Hunt, if I'm not mistaken. But he sees Josh and I, and he invites us into the dressing room. And, you know, placebo, thank you. And we take shots of vodka with Fedor Emelianco. And after that, I, I was the only one to wrap his hands, him and his brother, Alexander. So great stories. And the last time I worked with Fedor uh, was Bellator in San Jose. And I see him in the lobby. I just come in from the airport. And he comes up to me and gives me a hug. And this is a Russian guy giving me a hug, right? <laughs> so he, it's, it's just not normal, you know, or not often, I should say. But he says, I have, you, I have a sweatsuit for you. So he sent a guy up to his room and came back. And I had the team sweatsuit with Stitch in the front and Stitch in the back. But what makes that <laughs> special, Jake, is that those outfits were made when he was in Russia. So he thought about me when he was in Russia. And that's what makes that special. Yeah. See, that's the sort of stories I got like this. But so many fighters. I can imagine. I can imagine. Yeah. yeah.